Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix now with you in episode 32. Yeah, episode 32 of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in, or is it episode 32? I can't remember. No, it's episode 33 actually. I, did, I didn't say it in the last episode. Last episode was episode 32. So anyways, let's just shut up and open the chest already. So, this is probably the dungeon map or something, probably. Wouldn't you think? Well, actually, no. This is probably the most useful item I've been dying to get this for, like, the entire game. It's the boomerang. And press C to use it and blah, blah, blah. It's basically a ranged weapon that will return to you. And, yeah, it's a very useful item. It'll allow us to get many different sculptures out in Hyrule Field now. Trust me, it, it, like, by the end... But when we get out of this t dungeon and we go get all the sculptures in Hyrule Field with it that we can get with it... We will have probably 50 plus sculptures. I'm not even kidding. Oh my god, no! Whatever. Anyways, yeah. This is one of the very rare instances in, like, I think any Zelda game, really, that you get the dungeon item before either the cap, the, the cap or the mumpus. Was that what I was about to say? Whatever, the map or the compass. Anyways, yeah, you have to leave Ruo behind to hold down that switch, and what the hell is that? This is a parasitic tentacle, question mark? Whatever. Basically, it's a parasite, and you have to kill it with your boomerang, like so. Just throw your boomerang at it, it gets hurt. Go close to it, it comes down, tries to swipe at you. But as long as you just keep on circling around it, you, you'll, you'll be fine, it won't hit you at all. And I think you just have to hit it like three, maybe four times. Whatever, it should be dead this time. Well, if I hit it, that is. There you go. Ew, that was nasty. Ooh, what's this? Another chest? Another big chest? What could this one possibly be? Do we get another boomerang so we can have double boomerangs? Like the double claw shots in Twilight Princess? Well, no, actually, this is what you would expect it to be. The dungeon map. Hooray. Well, I guess I'll show you this dungeon. I haven't done this with either of the other dungeons, but whatever. So, it's a, fair, it's a fairly small dungeon, as you'd imagine. Well, probably not as you'd imagine. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to save yet. Because it's a giant fat ass fish. It's pretty big for like a. F I mean, oh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, she's gonna scold us now. She's like, How inconsiderate? Uh, how inconsiderate, you stupid bastard. And over here, Nabby's like, Listen, the red slimy tentacle is gone. Whatever. Yet, yeah, she's basically telling us that the rest of the parasite that was blocking this door is gone. Thanks to us killing the. Well, killing the parasite. And in here, oh my god, you have a timer, and we have to kill all these bubbles before the timer runs out. That's so hard. Yeah, you can run, you can, if you want, you can just go around running into these bubbles, but that's not what I wanted to do, stupid. But it's much more effective to use the boomerang, and you won't get hurt, so yay on that. Or you can go throw Ruto into all the bubbles, because she won't get hurt from it. Well, maybe she does, I don't know. She doesn't have a life bar, so I can't really gauge that. And last one. Nice. It's not really all that hard. It's probably harder than that diving game at Zora's Domain, but not much harder. Anyways, this is, as you might imagine, ah, uh, look, look at this. We're getting the the item, the map, and the compass all in one episode. That is pretty spectacular. Well, we probably did that in like the Deku Tree too. I don't know if we did it in Dodonga's Cavern. I can't remember. Anyways, now what else? What else can we do here? Oh my god, avoid that thing. I, I don't like those things. They're like freaking tapeworms. This fish needs to get some serious medical attention. I mean, I mean seriously, look at this. Oh, he, he even like changed his color. It's all blue here. Anyway, so there's a red tentacle blocking this one before. Now we can enter here. And, uh, okay, I can throw her against the wall if I want. And this is a blue parasite, I'm pretty sure. And it's blo it's blocking the door that's right down the center corridor in the room that we were just in. So we need to kill this to get into there. And from there, there will be another green parasite that is blocking a certain other area. And then we'll be able to get into there after we kill that one. So yay on that. Uh, mm. it's pretty, these past few episodes, like I've said before, have been pretty boring. Based, well, commentary based anyways. Because I haven't been able to think much to say. There's not really much to say at all in these places. Because it's pretty linear. Oh yeah, this one has a trick to it. Because there's, oh my god, jellyfish guarding this tentacle? What the hell? How do you get around these jellyfish? Well, you don't get around the jellyfish. You kill them instead. 
Man, look at the reach on that boomerang. That has more reach than my dick does. And that's a pretty big reach. Oh, well, my dick probably could reach that, but... Whatever. Come on, kill it. Oh my god. Get close. Get close. But stay away from that thing right in the middle. Oh my god. Oh my god, I almost got hit by that thing. That would have been pitiful. That would have been even more pitiful than getting hit by Goma. Like I did. I still remember that. I can't believe I did that. Anyways, uh, speaking of bosses, this dungeon has probably has the hardest boss that we've seen so far. I mean, the first two are pretty easy, but this the one in this dungeon is actually pretty freaking hard. I, like, it, it kind of blindsides you. I mean, this dungeon's even pretty easy, too. We're almost done with it, actually, I'm pretty sure. And even the mini-boss of this dungeon, well, yeah, kind of, it's kind of the mini-boss. It's the, Even that's hard. It's annoying as hell. It's hard. It's, like, impossible to do without taking a hit. So anyways, oh my god, no. I did not want to fall down that hole. I really didn't. Ouch. Apparently those jellyfish run into me and kill themselves, so whatever. Anyways, we'll just throw Rudo up there, because we have. To, that's where I wanted to go. There's like a hole that you can fall down into to go up there. And I'm just going to climb up here back into the room with the holes. Uh, wouldn't it be so easy if you could just climb carrying Rudo, because then we wouldn't have had to go make that big loop around to get up here in the first place. And we probably would have been done with this dungeon by now. Oh my god. Whatever. So anyways, which hole did I want to go into? Where am I relative to the rest of the room? Oh, that jellyfish didn't die. What the hell? Did Rudo kill it before? What? What? How'd you get here? What? How, how come you couldn't have done that before? Like, if I had climbed this vine before, you wouldn't have been up here. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, whatever. So, no, don't do that. Don't be doing that. You stu- You stupid. Oh my god. This- Ouch. Ouch, I'm taking too much damage. I'm taking too much damage. I think it's this one. Yes, it is this one. And now, ha ha, we can actually get these two gold sculptures that were mocking us before. Ha 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 ha. No, don't hit it with that. You want to get it with the boomerang. And that's exactly why we needed this item for so many of the other sculptures out in, like, the field. And there's one in the Lawn Lawn Ranch I can think of. Anyways, um, yeah, we got that one. We'll get its token, too. Ha. Have my cake and eat it, too, baby. Okay. Uh, in this room, I think there will be something kind of interesting that we're going to see. What's this? <gasps> it's the spiritual stone. Oh, my God. I want it. Oh, she wants it more, apparently. That's it. That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there. Onto the platform. Well, fine, but only if you promise to give it to me, because I'm the one who needs it to save the entire world. Oh, yeah. Walk over with your daintily little self. What? Why did the victory music play? Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Rudo? And I guess technically that's not victory music, it's item get music. Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. Is it your mother's kidney stone? I got very upset when Lord Jub Jub swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised, but you said you that you've been getting here so many times as you were a little blow. I guess she went of her own free will, and he didn't actually physically swallow her without her consent or whatever. So take me home right now. Well fine, bitch. Seriously, this is the bitchiest little whiner that I've ever what? Ever What? An octopus? What the hell? What the oh my god, Ivy just grew. That's scary. Oh shit. This is that mini boss I was talking about you guys. And I'm gonna show you my strategy for dealing with this guy. Everyone pretty much has their own strategies. I just well See, it's hard to get him without taking a hit. Uh, well, once you, if you do that, you basically that's the whole point of this battle is to hit him with the boomerang to stun him. And then, what do you want to do? He starts turning like that. Throw. Th well, that normally works, but whatever. When he starts turning, if you throw the boomerang at the right time, you'll stun him again. And if you're lucky, he'll be facing away from you. Well, I just see. I wasn't lucky that time. He started facing towards me. Uh, throw it. There we go. See, I got lucky that time. And that's pretty much how I do it. Well, that's yeah, that's how I do it. There's probably many other strategies that could work, but this is pretty much the most effective from my experience. Yeah. And he doesn't really get a chance to do anything to you if you just keep him stunned like this. Yes! Nice. Anyways, yeah, this is a pretty... This boss can take a long time. It's probably going to take the rest of this episode, actually. We only have about a minute left, actually. Nice! 
And oh look, he's dead already. Wow. I thought it would take a little I thought it would take at least one more hit. I, I don't know. Anyways, so that's that for that boss. He dropped some hearts, which are very well appreciated, thank you. And we'll just take the same elevator as Rudo. Is there another one up here? Oh my god. Yeah, see this this fish really does need some medical attention. Oh my god, a fairy, I want it. I want it. Even though I'm only missing like less than two hearts, I, I still want it. Thank you. Anyways, so oh there was another one in there, wow. Anyway, so we defeated that mini boss in this episode, and in the next episode, I think we're gonna get to the boss and defeat him too. So, that's that, I suppose. Um, let's stay away from those jellyfish as much as possible. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.